it's high time I give a tour of my van. You know, just stop driving when I'm recording. Yeah, it's not that hard. Not that hard. The update is the kitchen. I built this myself in two days? I think it was two days. So something pretty would go here to cover this kind of ugly area, but you get the picture. I use this baby foot pump for my water supply. My clean water tank runs up into this fancy faucet and drains straight down into my gray water tank. Tell us how it works. I don't want to. <laughs> and then my drawers are super simple. I just have one that stays on the floor that keeps typically my camping stove would be in here, my pots, my colander. Don't ask why I have a random can. <laughs> my second drawer would have like all of my plates and bowls, my cleaning supplies for dishes. And then I just put plywood to connect up to this top shelf where I have little bins. So the kitchen is pretty simple. Just sink, faucet, foot supplied, foot powered, water supply, and baskets for drawers. There is lighting underneath as well. The remote lives right here. And it's the middle of the day, so you can't really tell the effect it has. And then I've put some hooks for my keys and miscellaneous on the side. A beautiful thrifted mirror <laughs> and hooks for mugs and bowls as well as lights under here. If you've been watching my build videos, you already know about this cabinet. It's been here for quite some time. It has an awesome amount of storage. I used to have a bunch of stuff in here, but I'm selling my van right now, so everything is out. This just rests on top of the shelf that is already in the van. To divide the front of the van and create some privacy, I just did a Velcro underneath of this shelf, and I sewed Velcro onto this pretty green material that matches my pillow. This is definitely the least important thing, but in case anybody is wondering, this is a trash can that just hangs on the back of my seat. And on this one, I have a like storage organizer, if you will, um, which is the same sort of thing I have in my car and still have in my car. I kind of live by those. So I had to have it in my van too. I showed my bed and how it works, how it pulls out and how I built it in a different video. I'll put a card for that up here. So you can watch that video if you wanna see how this bed works. But by day, it is just a couch, which I love. It was important to me to have a living space during the day rather than have the bed take up the entirety of the back of the van. There is lots of storage below the bed and there's also some under the floor on each side. And of course, under the seats. I left this all open so that I could use it. I've shoved shoes down here. I keep random things like carabiners, first aid kit, all kinds of things like that under the floor. And then onto the back doors is just some storage. I put lights under here. It looks pretty great whenever it's dark out and all of these are lighting up from below. There's one on this side too. I didn't put anything right here because that's where the bed is. So I didn't want to rest my back or my head against anything. So there's just one up high. I didn't show it to you guys yet here on YouTube, but I did connect the wiring for my Max Air fan to a cigarette lighter. So that way I can plug it into my Jackery, my portable power station. If you don't know about that, but like if you haven't watched any of my other videos, so you don't know what a Jackery is, I'll also link that in this video so you can see what I'm referring to. The ceiling was the last item on my docket, the least important thing to me, saved it for last. And little finishing touches. I say I'm like 90% through the build. The little things that are left are like the walls for the sides of these doors. There obviously should be, or like if this was a proper build, would be some cover for this, but all I have is just a loose sheet wrapping it up and the insulation on the side doors exposed, which I intend to cover with maps. I just want to glue cute maps on it. That's a quick tour of my van. I want to give 
a quick showing of it before I end up selling it. I will be purchasing a larger van soon because I'm prepared to be able to stand up when I change clothes, be able to have multiple friends over. I'm just, I'm ready for bigger things, you know? So I intend to get maybe a full size transit. Who knows, we'll see. So this is how I open up the bed. Pretty simple. It literally just pulls out all the way to the kitchen. And then this top cushion goes right here. So you know, like I've said like a trillion times before, I'm pretty proud of the work that I've done here. I mean, I built this kitchen and bed by myself, okay? Can we talk about that for a minute? I installed this faucet. Okay, I've never done that before. <laughs> I installed this sink. I did the plumbing work, which is pretty simple. Every video, every video. That's about it for my van tour, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you to my patrons. You know who you are. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Oops. <laughs> There's an outtake already. <laughs> Glare is kind of on your glasses, right at your eyes. There we go. <laughs> Can people stop driving by? Are you popping in? <laughs> I wasn't popping in. <laughs>